We are here at the upland area of the city of Numata in Gumna Prefecture and we are taking photos of the environment because it's snowy and it's white. It's very different. We're gonna take these two cameras and we're gonna compare some of the photos that we are going to take and we put them together side by side and we will be setting them together so we can see what's the difference in the quality. We're gonna take the best pictures that we're gonna be able to capture and then we will print it. And we just passed by this frozen lake here and we saw this suspension bridge here which is a bit uh, rusty yellow orange or something but it looks like a very very good subject to shoot so we stopped by and we set up this two the nikon z50 and oh this one is the nikon z50 and this one is the fujifilm xs10 so they are with the kit lens the 16 to 50 and the 15 to 45 for the fujifilm and we're gonna try to shoot this and maybe try to print these two so they are on the similar perspective and of course the setting is similar at ISO 100 and the F is 9 and my speed is currently set to 1 to 168th of a second let's see if it will work let's do this one shot for this one and for the Nikon and those are the shots there let me review those are the shots there looks good but the Nikon looks to be warmer at least on the monitor but I don't know now let's take a look at the photos this is the first one guess what it is and the second one is this so finally let's reveal which one is which the left side is Nikon Z50 and the Fujifilm XS10 on the right side. And we walked to the bridge hoping that we could find good compositions from there. The bridge is a little high so if you have fear of heights, this might not be a good place for you. The temperature is really low, it was freezing and the bridge itself has a lot of snow on it. We are on the top of the hanging bridge or the suspension bridge over Sonohara Lake here at Nomata and the view is just breathtaking. It's so pure. Nobody's here actually. Only us. But if you go down there, I think it's upstream. There are like tents there over the ice. Maybe there are people who are ice fishing there. But here you can enjoy the whole thing on your own. So I want to take a photo of this showing off the bridge using both the wide uh, angle lenses of these two cameras with the same setting. Let's see if we, if we can project something something really different because it's, it's a really nice view here. The contrast is different so let's do it. Now these are the photos again. Notice that there is a difference between the first one and the second one in terms of colors. Now let's see which one is which. The left side is the Nikon and the Fujifilm is on the right side again. You can see the differences in colors there. Now these photos are straight from the camera JPEG, not edited at all. And this is a photo of my boss and the same cameras.
to your finger. Yeah, I had a bit of accident uh, landing the drone because it's ice here. I cannot land it, so I can't. I tried to catch it, and when it came to my hand, it suddenly flipped, and one of the blades hit my finger. So now it's bleeding. After that little accident with the Mavic Mini, we decided to go back to the car. And it was quite a different accident because it's the first time that it happened. So we took these pictures. This is from the Nikon Z50 showing the landscape. And the next one is of course the Fujifilm X-S10 showing the same. This is among the perils of a hobbyist photographer. See? It's bleeding. So please like and subscribe. Ouch. Yeah, yeah. Now you're in pain. Yes. So please like and subscribe. It don't feel that better. <laughs> so we hit the road one more time to our actual destination which is the Fukiwara waterfalls which is around 24 kilometers away from the lake and we took this real snowy road and when we arrived there and we went down to this waterfalls it was kind of surprise for us because the parking space is close and there you go we are not allowed to go in so we just moved on and uh, took this stairs going to the view deck and tried to find something to shoot at at least so that we don't get zeroed on this trip. And from here, we can see the waterfalls, but it does not show the photos that we wanted to take, at least as we imagined them. When we first came to Fukiwara before, it was summer and you can go on this side of the waterfalls and the view is really really different. I was thinking of taking a photo of this and then probably on the f background as a bridge, a hanging bridge on the upstream of this but it didn't happen because we cannot get there. Now these two cameras are very good in taking videos too so let's compare their videos. This one is from the Nikon Z50 or Z50 and this one is coming out of the Fujifilm X-S10 and these are 4K footages. Now it's downgraded of course to fit this video. If you notice here, the Fujifilm output is a bit darker compared to the Nikon C50, which is this upcoming photo. And of course, the Nikon C50 is warmer and they have the same setting. So in the next photos, we adjusted the Fujifilm XS10 to compensate. And these are the next photo of the Z50 again. So what do you think are the differences between the two? Give us your comments below which one is which, but for now, that is the end of our photo trip in Nomata and Gunma Prefecture. So thank you for watching, we hope to see you again on the next video, goodbye.